if we paid doctors as little as we pay teachers, we would notice a lot more similarities between those two jobs. Hello, I will be your substitute heart surgeon for today. I'm usually a podiatrist, but what is the heart but a weird foot? I have to bring my own medical instruments from home, so I will be making the first incision with a pair of left-handed scissors. Here we go! There's some doctors I do not understand. There's some, like, the surgeon general? That's two opposite jobs. Right? Surgeons fix people. Generals kill people. I want his advice to be more conflicted. I want him to be like, you know, the surgeon in me says that cigarettes are bad for your health. But the general in me says, everybody's got to die sometime. <laughs> I don't know why. We, we just don't like doctors. We do not like teachers. I think it's because on a certain level, we're kind of intimidated by education. We all feel inadequate about our education. Like, I was looking at a guy's Twitter bio recently, and this is a real Twitter bio. He honestly said this. He said... He called himself an aspiring amateur writer. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Just call yourself an amateur. Nobody's going to challenge you on that. Nobody's going to be like, oh, you're an amateur, huh? <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> it's fine. I bet you're a great writer. Your bio is already the saddest short story I have ever read. <laughs> I love hanging out with my son. We had a great summer together. We were, uh, we were on the beach this one day, and uh, we came off the beach, and we went right into an arcade. So he's three. He's just wearing his little swim trunks. He's playing a video game. And the lady who owns the arcade is like 90. She's in a wheelchair. She's eating funnel cake out of an ashtray. <laughs> and she sees us, and she goes, Hey, your kid has got to put a shirt on. And I said, Oh, Sorry, uh, he'll, he'll put his shirt on when he's done with this game. And she goes, oh, oh, oh. And she pulls herself towards me with her feet, right? Inches the wheelchair up. And she says, he's so gorgeous. And his features, so delicate. I thought he was a girl. <laughs> and he said, oh, okay. Well, I'll put his shirt on anyways. And she goes, no, no, no. Keep it off. She didn't, she didn't say the last part, but you could see her thinking it. It was, 